Hi, this is Edward Smith, Video Games Correspondent with IB Times UK, here with a full video review of Gears of War Judgment, the latest entry into the Gears of War franchise from Epic Games. So the first big change with Judgment is that unlike the previous Gears of War games in the franchise, it's a more arcadey, more video gamey feel. By that we mean they've stripped away the narrative framework almost completely, so rather than pushing on through a linear set of campaign levels, instead you enter into semi-self-contained arcade kind of challenge rooms where procedurally generated waves of enemies attack you, you beat them, earn points, move on to the next one. That kind of works and doesn't work at the same time. On one hand, it's stripping the franchise away to what it really wants to be, which is a flat out, unassuming, all to the wall shooter. On the other hand, it makes the whole experience kind of deadening. Whereas shooting in the past might have been a little bland, it was at least backed up by a semi-interesting narrative, story, characters and so on. But in Judgment, all of that stuff takes a back burner. So although the shooting is still polished and it's still there, it's not quite as engaging as before because you don't have that story to motivate you. Otherwise, this is a fairly standard, fairly excellent looking Gears of War game. It's very polished, the enemy designs are interesting and different, the sound design is very strong, the guns sound great, the voices sound great, voice acting is uniformly good across the board. However, the characters do still share in this quite idiotic, kind of annoying frat boy banter which can get a little bit intrusive and a little bit grating after a while and you kind of wish that they would just be quiet sometimes. Multiplayer wise things are also similar to the other Gears of War games except this time there's a greater emphasis on teamwork. People take different roles in multiplayer from things like Medic to Bandolier and you really need to kind of work together as a group if you're going to beat your opponent so there's a focus on taking a role, living up to that role. This is the first Gears of War game to be developed after series creator Cliff Bozinski left Epic Games in October 2012 and what you can really tell overall is that the series is beginning to flag. The reinvention is there, it's brave, they've done something different with it, but at the same time the core kind of experience of shooting aliens, throwing grenades and stuff that have, has been around since the first Gears of War game in 2006 is starting to feel a little bit tired and it's probably best, based on Gears of War Judgment, that they retire the franchise now. That's unlikely, it's still very profitable, it's still very popular, but in terms of kind of original, enjoyable, interesting games, it seems like this has run its course. So that's Gears of War Judgment. It's a slightly different, slightly changed approach to the Gears of War formula that kind of works, kind of doesn't, but is still fun nevertheless. It's out on the 22nd of March exclusively for the Xbox 360, and you can find a full written review of the game at ibtimes.co.uk. I'm video game correspondent Edward Smith, and thank you for watching.